Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network, and the Leopards finally return home for their home opener against Sacred Heart. They've had two tough games on the road, both against Monmouth and obviously the first game at William & Mary. They have put up some points offensively, and looking now at a freshman quarterback in Keegan Schumacher, who's done a really nice job moving the football, needs to do a better job, I think, with a little bit of ball security. But let's talk a little bit about the passing game and how I think Lafayette can move the ball versus Sacred Heart. There's three basic things I think that need to take place. Man versus zone. In other words, the quarterback's recognition pre-snap of whether or not the team is bringing pressure in man or zone. So if you have a two deep shell, you look here, you have five underneath defenders, you have a two deep shell. Often that's going to dictate a zone coverage. So even if you motion the tight end back and forth, you're not going to get much movement with the backers. If they drop a safety down into the box here, okay, and then they go with a single high safety, or they you see them rotate, okay, the secondary, a lot of times you're going to see something bump across, or you may even see them set the running back. John Garrett will set the running back out wide, and he'll bring him back into the backfield or bring him in motion. If the corner bumps, you've got zone. If the linebacker's outside and then moves back in. So identification of man versus zone is really critical for the quarterback pre-snap to get an idea of where he's gonna go with the football. The second thing I talk about is play action and pocket. So play action means number one, gotta be able to run the football. So Lafayette inside, whether it's Selwyn Simpson or it's John Gay, who's done a fantastic job, is to get that ball up inside and run the ball properly. So you get a good play fake in here, you come off the play action, or you get a good play fake from this side and you roll the quarterback out. Now what that means is, not just from the pocket, where most of the time Keegan Schumacher and both Cole North have thrown the ball from that area, whether it's three yards deep or seven yards deep, it's pretty much a point where everybody can aim at. So moving the pocket, taking Keegan Schumacher or Cole outside the pocket, bringing them on a play fake to the other side outside the pocket. Whether they're under center and they make a play fake inside, drive the pocket maybe seven yards outside over the tackle. So changing the area or the uh, launch point for the quarterback is critical. So these defensive linemen can't get upfield. Lafayette's given up a lot of sacks this year. That has to go away. The third thing we're going to talk about is formation. So if you've watched John Garrett's offense over the last couple years, you see a lot of different formations. I think the bunch formation is a formation Lafayette's going to be able to take away some of the advantages. I think a very good secondary who had nine pass breakups and two interceptions last week is going to deal with. So if they, if you get a bunch formation, very difficult to play man. You may see a safety or a linebacker come head up on the bunch formation. You get a flag route, you get a stop route, and you get a slide. All combination routes, very difficult to pass off, very difficult to play man-to-man -man against. So look for different formations from John Garrett, even if he brings the tight end across and then brings him to the flat, or these long drag routes. Remember, versus zone, you're passing guys off. So if this drag route happens versus zone, you have a very equal guys that can break on the football. But if this is man-to-man -man, and that corner is assigned right here, he's got to chase that all the way across the field. So very important for receivers to understand also not just the quarterback, but zone versus man. So if it is man-to-man, -man, I'm going to continue my route and continue to drag across the field, or I'm going to take that ball into the middle, into the post. Or what I'm going to do if it's a, a zone, I'm going to sit down. So that receiver will come across, sit down, sit down in the pocket, find out if it's zone versus man. So these three things, man versus zone, change the pocket, a little bit of play action, run the ball effectively, and the formations from John Garrett this week is gonna allow Lafayette to move the ball, keep the ball, and obviously they've been very good, I think, on third down. So Lafayette, a win versus Sacred Heart, gotta move the football offensively, Saturday.